Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very different video. By now, usually I'm yelling and screaming or carrying on about something, but not in this video. In this video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your support, thank you for watching, and thank you for being you. When I was a young kid, in this picture here, you can see me, obviously that's me with the beard and shit. I used to watch comedians on the TV, like Billy Conley and even in Australia, Will Anderson. Later on down the track, Jim Jeffries, these type of people. And all I wanted to do was be a comic. Other people at school, they wanted to be a tradie or they wanted to be a nurse or whatever. Not me, I wanted to stand on stage and tell jokes. And I guess this video is a little bit of a backstory of how we got to this point. After high school, I spent about a year and a half doing fuck all. <sighs> fuck all. Just eating food and drinking beers. That was pretty much it. And somewhere in the middle of all that, I started to do what's known in the comedy industry as the open mic scene, where you get up at a random bar or pub and tell jokes and hope people will laugh. I did that for a few years in Newcastle and Sydney and then over time I met some interesting people and started opening up for some big acts. So I got to perform in front of some large crowds and that was amazing, it was a great experience and something I really enjoyed. But I was still working a full time job and the whole open mic scene and travelling around for no money and just doing five minutes on stage really wasn't for me. I was never going to get anywhere. Not too long after this realisation, I started making videos. And it was the videos that really were the catalyst for change in my comedy career. I started off with small videos. I made a video about Newcastle, where I'm from, with two of my mates, Morgan and Josh. And the reason I made the videos with these guys was I was terrified of what my other mates would think of me. Oh, look at this dickhead, trying to make videos, trying to make people laugh. You're not even funny, mate. And over time, more people started to watch my videos and then more people, and then I didn't give a fuck what anyone else thought, and I just put them out there because I thought they were funny. And it's hard work, constantly thinking about the next video, constantly worrying about the next video, thinking, will it be as funny as the last video? Worrying, reading shitty comments, all that type of rubbish. Like, it does your fucking head in, but it's worth it. From the very beginning, I've had a goal in mind. And that goal was to put content out every week, grow an audience, a small audience, but an audience of like-minded people, and then eventually down the line, do a show and hopefully sell it out. I gave myself three years to achieve that. Three years. But in 12 months, I've found this audience, this audience of like-minded people, who not only agree with me, but get my sense of humour, and enjoy what I have to say, and then have these constructive conversations in the comment sections, and leave these positive messages for me, and then I put on an Australian tour, and I sell out 15 fucking shows. Holy fucking shitballs. And I've never been one of these people who actually achieves goals that they set out. I usually just get lazy and don't care anymore. But to actually achieve something, Feels pretty good. Now earlier I mentioned hard work, and you may be one of these cynical people who thinks, oh, he wouldn't know shit about hard work, all he does is write some shit jokes and yells at a camera and all that shit. Now two things if that's what you're saying. Number one, get fucked, you fucking cocksucker. And number two, I thought you may have said something like that. So thankfully, throughout this entire 12 month journey, I've recorded how hard I've worked and put it into a montage that may very well be the most motivational montage in the history of mankind. Future Isaac, roll the clip.
uh, that's some pretty full on stuff. I'll give you a moment just to gather yourselves. I won't carry on for too much longer, but what I will say once again is thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your kind messages. Thank you to my Patreon supporters who have supported me financially from the very start. Thank you to my family for their ongoing support. And a very special thank you to the cyclist community for being such a bunch of fuckwits that we can all pick on and have a great laugh. And thus brings us to the end of season one. It's been an amazing journey of death threats and hate speech. It's been great fun. I really enjoyed it. But in saying all that, the weekly content will continue. I'll be putting stuff out every single week like I normally do, so make sure you like fucking pages and shit. But what I do think, it's time for a change. I think perhaps we should step it up a notch. So yes, it's been a wild ride, but this is only the beginning. Peace in the Middle East, stay bearded, and as always, be a good motherfucker. That was not the really transition I was looking to end this video because it was sort of a serious video, but you get my point. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Toodaloo, bye.